On, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Virgin. Smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest automotive content. If you missed the last couple videos, you might not know that I bought this BMW Z4. But I didn't buy this BMW Z4 for myself, I bought it to give away. What do I mean by that? That's right, I am giving away this super lightweight, fun to drive, and most importantly, manual BMW Z4 to one of my pro members at lightgravity.com. Lightgravity.com is the perfect place for car lovers like you and I. Ever wanna share pictures of your car or your favorite cars and get annoyed that every single person on your Facebook feed goes, dude, why don't you just marry your car already? All you do is talk about cars. Well, at lightgravity.com, Everyone there loves cars as much as you do. Now, pro members get access to every single Vehicle Virgins video a day before it goes live on YouTube. There's also no ads whatsoever in the videos. It just so happens that a perk of being a pro member is that I do random giveaways. A couple months ago, I gave away an E46 BMW M3 to a random pro member. To the pro members watching right now, I know you guys are excited. March 15th is the day that I am picking a pro member at random using a random number generator, selecting them, and giving them this BMW Z4. All you gotta do is be a pro member, you get all those awesome perks and the chance to win a giveaway car. Now I've got a link in the description below for that. Seriously, it only costs a pack of M&Ms per month. You get the videos a day early, you also get no ads and you might win this car. Most people do the year pro membership, you get a discounted rate and that means you're eligible for every single ongoing random giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. And trust me, in the next 12 months, I'll be doing more cool car giveaways. Now, on to today's video. Now, for those of you who have been around the channel for a while, you guys know that I like to straight pipe everything. Just got this new Z4 and really the only option I have is to see what it sounds like with no muffler. So I'm gonna go over to my friend Malcolm's shop and we're gonna take the exhaust off of the Z4. Now I'm excited, my E63 just landed at the port of Los Angeles, so I should be getting that super soon and you bet, I'm gonna wanna take the exhaust off that thing too the second it arrives. Let's roll. Now let's get a baseline to see what this thing sounds like, shall we? Pretty good. We've got a three liter inline six, naturally aspirated, 225 horsepower engine, and it sounds good, but if we pull the mufflers off, I'm curious to see. It's certainly gonna be a heck of a lot louder, but is it gonna have that pure, silky smooth sound? Honestly, I've got no idea. Let's see. There's an okay amount of road noise at freeway speeds in the Z4, but honestly, I'm pretty impressed at how comfortable this little roadster is out on the big highway. Say cheese, bro. That sign's ridiculous. <laughs> Just pulled up to Malcolm's. Looks like we've got James and Taylor and Malcolm driving his truck out with the hood up. What on earth is going on? There we go. Oh. Just rolled up to Malcolm's shop. We've got all the lights back in here so we can do this not in the dark. Last time I think we used like his truck or my sedan to light up the garage because we didn't have any lights. We have straight piped so many cars in here, it's ridiculous. Like props to Malcolm for allowing the carnage that has happened. Straight piping my girlfriend's car and then also straight piping his M3. And now we might be straight piping James's Corvette. What's my up, Corvette. dude? I have a oh, oh, well you do have a Corvette, have a Corvette. but this time it's a Camaro. <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right, now we gotta pound it. Wait, what? And a cop was like, you on the ticket, wrote this as a Corvette and not a Camaro. But did he pull you over before in your Corvette? No. Another time? No, <laughs> no, just this. And then we got this fool. Yeah. Are you straight piping the M4 too? Sure. No? Nah. Dude, you just got back from freaking Dubai? Abu Dhabi, actually. Abu Dhabi. What were yeah, you doing in Abu Dhabi? I was racing out there with FFF Racing. Doing some Lamborghini stuff. And he literally won first place in two races at Super Trofeo. Good job. Thanks. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, I'm buddy. so proud of you. That's Thanks incredible. You, Taylor's a beast. Thank I you. need to drive like that. Thank you. What are you what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Alright, we gotta get a before clip of the Z4, a little startup and rev, and then we're gonna do an after. What's good, dude? So, pretty 
decent, but it's about to get a heck of a lot crazier. Let's do it. Step one, jack the car up. Let's do it. Well, yeah, maybe. Hey, I wrote the rule book, so. <laughs> what step are you on? I don't know. According to your rule book, maybe seven, eight. Damn. Damn, the wheel gap. Oh, we're monster trucking all the cars here. What do you guys think? Lift kit on the Z4? I dig it. <laughs> so we found a good place to unbolt the exhaust. The problem is where it is, in the front of the car, the rear of the exhaust may hang down, making it pretty sketchy if we drive around on the streets like that, but we'll see what happens. Spaceship Z4. It's good when the only fluid that's leaking out is water from the air conditioning. Good job, buddy. All right, Malcolm just said to pop the hood and then laughed repeatedly, so I'm not quite sure what he's on about. He's, he's never opened a hood before, it's okay. He just opens it, looks at the engine, he goes, yep, it's the... And then goes, <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <sighs> oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, what are we looking at? Oh, it's real clean. No, I wanted to open this and hear it. Yeah, that's a... Uh, right. <laughs> You're gonna open it up? Yeah, sure. oh, All right. Malcolm wants to hear it with the air box disconnected. Let's see what it sounds like. Who needs a cold air intake anyways when you can just pull it off entirely and okay. have rocks and debris fly into your engine? It's totally fine. <laughs> Meanwhile. Well, okay. <laughs> James is taking a chainsaw to the underside of his car. Dude, that is not one of the steps. No. Oh my god! Okay. Alright, interesting. What? 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 Uh, nothing. <laughs> the impact wrench just sounds insane. It does sound like you're sawing It does it sounds like you're liter he's literally sawzawing the exhaust off. So it looks relatively easy. All right. I say that now, but I don't know what the f I'm looking at. The underside of a Z4. Never mind. My eyes are just dumb. I got you. All right, we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, heck yeah. Ooh. Very interesting. What's up? You can see the smoke just radiating off of what looked like the engine bay. Well, it turns out it was just the WD-40 that he shot at the bottom of the car, so we could more easily take off the exhaust. Yeah, I thought the Z4 was close, but. It's just WD-40. Yeah, see the yeah. smoke is coming from everywhere but the engine. It's over here. Operation Straight Pipe. Watch as a rare Malcolm takes tools at random bolts on the underbody of the Z4. Oh yes, that looks quite like the right one. Oh, maybe this one? Absolutely. We're not sure. Status update on James. He is on step 542, yeah, which is the if the bolts are frozen, use WD-40. We're actually already oh, on that same know. step, but uh, James is a little bit slow. James is also on step 542. Good job, Malcolm. Yeah. My hair went into the AC. Oh, your face went into the my AC? Hair, my hair. Oh, no. Well, you were complaining about it, not showering for the last four weeks, so. <laughs> <laughs> step 543 is make sure that the impact wrench is fully charged yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because that may be the source of his issues. Oh, my. Well, that happened fast. That sounded like it really worked. Step 4062, remove the bolts. <laughs> There we go. There we go, the moment of truth. <laughs> oh, I think that's good enough. <laughs> oh, yep. Well, the exhaust has been unbolted, so we've got to let Abu Dhabi Super Trofeo slaying Lamborghini driver start it up. Let's see what this thing sounds like. You like that introduction? Oh, yeah, that was great. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I love it or hate it. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit, it's a bit interesting. Holy moly. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right, I think we gotta take this thing for a spin. This is ridiculous. Okay, compared to a Super Trofeo, better or worse sound? Worse. Worse? But, 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 but close. Close, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Unbelievable. We've got Hovercraft 2.0, the Camaro here. The only issue is we've finished the Z4, uh, but his project is is stuck in the in the middle. What step are you, you're done? Oh my God, step four, four million 45. 
He is ready to go. I can't wait to hear this one, actually. One thing I've learned from straight piping a lot of cars is V8s, V10s, V12s in general sound really good when they don't have the exhaust connected. Four cylinders and six cylinders, not so much, but let's see. I feel like this is gonna sound ridiculous. What do you guys think? I feel like I need straight pipe everything t-shirts. Listen to the idol. All right, it is time to lower this thing and take it for a spin. Oh, James is bobbing out. It doesn't actually sound, his was so loud, his was so loud. All right, you ready? Oh yeah, go for it. There we go, side number two. Time to fire this bad boy up again. <laughs> oh dear God. All three of these cars have had the exhaust removed from them at one point in time. The only thing missing is Taylor's. Let's roll out. Why do we do this? I have no idea, but it is so entertaining listening to those cars with just pure engine savagery. <laughs> Initial impressions? I like it. You like it? I like it personally, but remember, this is what I'm going for. True, true, one, true. So. Headed back home because I foolishly didn't bring enough batteries for the camera, but nice little squad meetup. I just washed the Lambo, she's looking cleaner. It's cold out, so I thought I'd put on a sweatshirt. Guys, super limited supply of the Vehicle Virgins hoodies. Get them while they last, link in the description below. Honestly, the most comfortable hoodie I've ever worn. Let's see what that Z4 sounds like, shall we? It says buzzard. Yo, buzz driving is drunk driving. Little meet up and back to the shop. Quietest car here. Ha! Okay, we are in the Z4. We got it in sport mode. Damn. Let's see what this thing sounds like. pipe a car yeah it just gets better and, and better funnier and funnier funnier <laughs> and we see more cops when we do it we do we have seen so many cops today right after we straight piped all these cars lovely it's got some oh there we go yeah there we go <laughs> it actually feels a tiny bit slower with this exhaust yeah. setup but uh Eh, just a little. You win some, you lose some. It sounds good though. It's, it, I, don't, I can't tell if I love it or I hate it. You guys, you guys, let me know. Although it's kind of hard to tell on uh, video, on video, yeah. what it sounds like. The, the I mean, it's better than off. stock. I think it's probably better than stock. It's definitely better than stock. There is a car behind us. It is not a cop. Thank yeah. God. What it sounds like it's pretty gnarly it's great gnarly it I, I like it i like it it's top hilarious. down like this pch oh damn 
It's definitely a cop magnet, though. I, oh, I yeah. kind of feel nervous, like, even but that's driving any this thing around. Part. That's true. But that's why we do it. Exactly. We like the cops. It's, it's, <laughs> that's a love-hate relationship. There you go. <laughs> exactly. We love them, but they, we hate them. What do you think of your setup? Mine? Yeah. I love it. I think it's pretty good. It's down, great. It's down, just super loud. It's super it's loud. loud. Down low, both the cars kind of sound like, like, a, like a weird motor boat, especially when they're reflecting off of walls Different, around yeah. you. It's like... Blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Exactly like that. Just but like uh, that. on the top end, they're both pretty sweet. Well, listening to this thing straight pipes was a lot of fun, but I think, especially for whoever wins this car, I should probably return it back to stock. So we're gonna put the exhaust back on this thing. We got Cameron. What's up, Cameron? What up? I just watched American Pie. So now it's Jimmy and Oh, see, you're famous in two different ways. You can be recognized so many different ways. I'm just kidding, I love you. The difficult part of taking exhaust off cars is always putting them back together. It's easy to pop the exhaust off, but then fitting it in with the gasket and tightening everything is a bit more of a struggle. Uh, not as easy putting everything back together as it is taking it off. Malcolm made some good progress. What did you do? You just smacked it with a mallet? No, no, I just pulled it enough and then just like tapped it in a little bit. Oh, just tap it in. Just, a just, bit of a just tap. tap it in. Just a little bit of anti seize. Oh, making it easier for when the winner gets this car and he wants to straight pipe his Z4. Putting some anti seize on it. All right, the exhaust is back together. Let's see if we actually did it right. Oh, well, we can't hear anything because James Camaro is so damn loud. Yep. Sounds good. Back to stock. Well, there you guys have it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Z4 sound when the exhaust is detached. Straight pipe everything. We got a couple more cars. We got a straight pipe, but... Malcolm has a freaking train horn on his truck. He's setting up more lights as if he didn't have enough lights and horns and sirens already. I guess he's getting more stuff wired in. Let's see what he's doing. We're doing so, truck stuff again. What are we doing, Malcolm? We got the 50 inch on top, the two pods on the side, and the 38 inch amber that flashes. Um, we're running it all the way through there and underneath. And then one of the wires gets cut here. So we just uh, splice it into a different Harness, uh -huh. and then just grounded it right there. We're running some into the cab for controllers for the 38 inch, gotcha. the 50 inch, and a few others are going on here. Look at all of those. And then the pods in the back are on this because it has Wait, a flashing pattern. That's sick. What are they currently hooked up to? Uh, as of right now, nothing. What? Gotcha. Yeah. But it's all... <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So that's what we're figuring out. Word. How many lights do you need? A lot. More. That's gonna look savage. Oh my gosh. It's just more, more, more. Instead of a, uh, in sports car culture, it's less, less, less. At night, the headlights and the pods don't do Okay, but coming from the other end of that, <laughs> coming from the street in front No, but I don't mean like on the street, I mean like when we're off roading. No, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, the other guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like, about I couldn't that. see anything compared to what they did, because they had the 54 inch and they had other shit. You can only go as fast as you can see. Yeah. Uh, interesting. That's something that Hazard would say. <laughs> Hazard lights? Yeah, here. All the, okay, so. That's just, here, he just wants to be a mall cop. That's Malcolm's <laughs> dream. <laughs> there, there is a reason for it. So, in our neighborhood, people, like, specifically Ubers, don't realize that trails aren't roads, so they get stuck. So, me and my buddies are the ones that get called to pull them out, because we all got trucks and why not? And when a tree falls, we get called as well. So. So you've got the little caution lights. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. All right. So, dude, what what is that? So on um, this truck, it's got a factory hood scoop. Basically, the air goes through, comes into this little nipple-looking thing, catches all the air, all the bugs and whatnot, continues on here, goes into the intake, and with this whole system, Chevy was able to produce almost 200 more torque from the previous model uh, engine. 
Could you imagine on a car if just the next generation had 200 more pound-feet of torque? <laughs> that would be awesome. Wait, so how much pound-feet of torque does this have? 910 pounds of torque. Oh my yeah. god, can you pound, pound your feet that many times? So I just asked Malcolm what this tank was, and I learned a heck of a lot about diesel cars just then. So this is a tank of diesel exhaust fluid, which essentially is animal urine mixed with chemicals to reduce soot emissions, big black smoke on diesel cars. This is literally goat pee in a tank on the bottom of this truck. What the? We can't drop by the shop without taking a little look at the LS swapped RS7. And then also that RUF 993 Turbo. Oof. One of the best looking Porsches ever created. And that shift linkage in the manual, actually, seriously, the smoothest feeling shift actuation of any car I have ever driven. Such a nice vehicle. And then we have the severely broken Polaris. Alrighty, time to head on home. Sport, of course. Let's go. Oh, it's a race! Well guys, another fun day with the Z4 and the boys. Like I said before, I am giving this car away March 15th to a random pro member on my site, lightgravity.com. There's a link in the description below to become a pro member. Most people sign up for a year. You get epic perks like seeing every single Vehicle Virgins video a day in advance. There's no ads, and of course, you could end up winning this BMW Z4. Check out the site, sign up. Good luck to everybody who's already a pro member. I'm so pumped for this thing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. Peace. Bye.